I've been watching that Live in Neverland. So it pause. You know, hindsight is very wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Let's look back at that. You look back on it every time you make a movie, when you watch a movie, you're looking at history every time you watch a movie. Because it's always made it in the past, you see. You don't watch a film as it is being made, you see. When the film is being made, that is the present, you see. So you're always looking at the past. Once the film is made, it's history, it's the past. History. And let's face it, Leaving Neverland wasn't much of a, Well, it was. It was shocking. Seven years old, man, that is sick in the head. That Michael Jackson was fucking playing with kiddies at seven. Naked, you know, he was... That, that, that is a... That is disgusting. I, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, man. It was, like, obvious. When you, when you look back on it, I mean, it, it was bloody obvious when Jordan Chandler, you know, when Michael Jackson gave him 20 million pounds. I mean, or, or a few, you know, I think it was something like 20, well, $20 million dollars from that. But I mean, if you're going to give someone ma that amount of money, but it's obvious it's, it was guilty, you know, really obvious. I mean, we all fell for the Jackson message, didn't we? Even I did. I love Michael Jackson. I think he's fucking brilliant. He's fucking pop star in the universe he was. But it turns out to be a kiddie fiddler. And it kind of defeats the whole history kind of sort of like thing. To, you know, sort of the actual point of... Bar Mitzvah, I've told you a thousand million times, Bar Mitzvah is your solution. My solution is Bar Mitzvah. But you don't believe in me and you want to bloody stick me in the oven probably for anyway. Um, I'm not. I'm Bill. Old Bill. 53 this year. But the problem is, I know you're banning all Michael Jackson's records, but I've got a little problem. Thriller. You know, you banned Heal the World. I mean, the, the thing is, the songs Michael Jackson did were fantastic. Heal the World. Um, you know, uh, Thriller and what was the other song? <laughs> I did a few actually. But the point is, I wasn't there. I've seen, I've seen a trivia act twice. That was Ben, actually. I've seen Ben twice live. Do you know Ben? Um, fuck, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's fucking name now? You did Michael Jackson trivia. Oh, it'll come to me eventually, but, but that was fantastic. He's got a fantastic voice and, and, and the heart and the soul. But to find out that Jackson did all that with little kids, that is sick, I'm sorry. But I do have a problem with the thrillers, you see. Because, I mean, the foulest stench... Do you mind if I take my glasses for a minute? Let me take my disguise. I'm Bill. My real name is Cunt, apparently. That's what everyone keeps calling me. So I think my real name is Cunt. Because every time I walk past someone, they say, Cunt. Cunt. Never mind. Hold on, Monk House joke. <laughs> How long have you been stuck in a Monk House? Uh, I'll tell you what, the greatest Bob Monk House joke. Do you know? Maybe 52 years old. Well, I am 52 years old now at the moment. I'm Bill. 52. But I still feel like a young man. I still feel like a teenager. I'm 52 years old, but I still feel like a teenager. I just don't know where I'm going to find one at this time of night. The whole Bob Monkhouse joke. I'm 52 years old. <laughs> but I still feel like a teenager. 
I just don't know where I'm going to find one at this time of night. Let's start that again. Even better. Oh well. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I've got a problem with thriller. You see, the foulest stench. <clears throat> I didn't like the word. That is brilliant script. Oh yeah. It's really scary, isn't it? That Michael Jackson was playing with little boys, seven years old. And that's taking the biscuit, that is going way too far, man. Let them ask you. <laughs> Let them ask you. Before you have sex with a boy, yeah. or a teenage boy, or whatever. Let them ask you, let them make the first move. As if they make the first move, it is not abuse. If a teenage boy, for instance, came up to a man and said, can I suck your cock? Is that abuse? Hmm? Is that abuse? If a 14 year old, for instance, goes up to a adult and says, can I suck your knob? Is that abuse? If he's asking for it, if he asks for it, how can that be abuse? Literally, if a teenager goes up to an adult and says, can I suck your cock? Is that abuse? How can that possibly be abuse if the teenager asks for it? You see? That's the difference, isn't it? Hmm? Let them approach you, don't approach them. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Saving my own neck tonight, actually. <laughs> well, he did lie about his age. <laughs> no, that was when he was 60. But anyway. Wait for them to make the first approach. If a teenager wants to have sex with a man, let the teenager decide when. Hmm? If they want to have sex with somebody, their choice, then let them. Okay, that's my law. I would say, this is my new law. I would say, if a teenager, girl or boy, wants to have sex with somebody, then let them make the first move. Let them make the first move. And say, can I, if, if they want to have sex, can I suck your cock, for instance? Then that is not abuse. That is not abuse because they're asking for it, you see. Can I suck your knob? then I'm not abusing them, am I? Okay. <laughs> okay. As long as we understand each other. <laughs> yes, it happened once. Wow. Yeah. Told me it was 16. But he asked for it. <laughs> that is not abuse. Right, mate? How are you doing? Anyway. About this thriller. The foulest stench is in the air. The funk of 40,000 years. And grisly ghouls from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom. <laughs> and though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver, for no mortal can resist the evil of the thriller. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to do that again one last time. 
because they're destroying all, because, because they're not allowed to play Michael Jackson's, they're not playing Michael Jackson's music anymore. It was, no, it was fantastic, wonderful, beautiful music. But yes, it was a pedophile, which is very sad indeed. Exceedingly sad indeed. Because Thriller, oh, that's a lovely song, I love that one. My favourite. <laughs> you know what I mean. So, anyway, yeah, so. Do you, have you ever seen that? It was scissor hands on the subject of Thriller. On the subject of Thriller. Now you think about that. Johnny Depp, how you doing? Now, could you play Michael Jackson? I mean, how much plastic surgery does that guy have? I mean, let's be honest, Michael Jackson, was he real? I mean, come on, was Michael Jackson real, really real? I don't think he was. I was a, a crazy, isn't it? But look at his face. Have you seen Off the Wall? Have you ever watched that? Um, seen the, I've been mean, watched the movie. Have you ever seen, that would have made a great movie. That could be a good idea. That could be a good idea. Perhaps make a movie about Michael Jackson. Like get all the facts straight. Get all the facts of Michael Jackson. And start a string of movies. Off the wall, for instance. When he still had a fat nose. And he was still black and gun. Off the wall. That would be a good film, actually. But what you do is you want to make the movie based on the times that the... Oh, you can make musicals out of it. Shit. What did you can't do that for? Fuck. You could make musicals out of it. One, one album at a time or something. I don't know. <sighs> Not for me to say. But I'm like, yeah, I'm saying sort of like the foulest stenches in the air at the funk of 40,000 years. Mm, grizzly girls from every tomb. <laughs> I close the industry at your tomb. And then you fight to stay alive, your body starts. I don't know what I'm doing. But then the model comes to sleep with the thriller. Hello, I've got a lot of films. Um, yeah, on VHS actually. I got busted by the cops, you know about that. Fisher. Go fish. <laughs> Go fish, Fisher. Go fish, Fisher. Seen the war. <laughs> How many? Hell of a lot. Four months, the police watch my films. The police know me very well. I'm Bill. Fish Eames. How many films have I stopped? <laughs> Bill. You know Bill. But anyway, the police know me very, very well. I got accused of being a pedophile once in 2007. 2007. It was 2007, wasn't it, Fish? 007. Yeah. 007. And that was 2007. As a film on this um, thing, I went, so I'll watch the 2007 film now, okay? What's my film, 2007? And then's Bill. Bailey. Well, William Joseph Bailey, actually. William. William is my name. Uh, William as in the conqueror who conquered your fucking country and gave you a fucking language in the first place. You ever heard of William? You know, the guy who actually conquered this country, Britain. He conquered Britain. And then he gave you lots of words, because the Saxons had a few words. You know. And watched the Open University English language, that's good. I gave a lot of, language, a lot of words. Invented many of myself, actually. It's funny. But that was Normandy, which is actually part of France, actually. Normandy is France. Normandy is from is France. <laughs> I hate to shock you, but Normandy is in France. <laughs> okay, French. England got conquered by the French in 1066. What's going on? I mean, look at your government now. Look at our fucking French government now. I mean, look at the fucking... How are you going to do this Brexit bit? That's a bit stupid, isn't it, Brexit? Brexit fucking dumb, isn't it? <coughs> Oh, I built a channel. Let's build a channel tunnel to connect Britain to Europe. What, a channel tunnel? Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. Pause. Right, yeah. hello. Sorry, back. i tell you what. Right, the Brexit thing. You know what I mean? It's a bit silly because, you see, what you do is, it, 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 it's just like cutting off your umbilical cord. 
Now, come on, didn't we just build a channel tunnel about 30 years ago, was it? 20, 30 years ago, something like that? A channel tunnel to connect Britain to Europe. Hmm? I said, didn't we build a thing called the Channel Tunnel to connect Britain to Europe? Yeah? Like a great big tunnel to connect Britain to France, you see. Because if you connect Britain to France, this is how it's always been. It was done 1066, we con uh, conquered you, didn't I? William. I said, I'm William. Okay. 1066, Battle of Hastings. No, you remember me? So, oh, take my hat off. How about that? How about, how about that as well? Hello! Are you awake yet? Because by the looks of your television, you look like you're fucking dead. Are you alive? Don't tell me you're poor. If you spend five quid, ten quid, twenty quid, 50 quid on a fucking lottery ticket every week. How much money are you spending on your fucking lottery tickets? Yeah? I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. I'm going to give 50 quid of my unemployment benefit to buy lottery tickets so I might get lucky. Bastard, fucking shit, assholes you are. I'm not going to help people who waste their fucking money on a bloody lottery ticket. You do this fucking national lottery every fucking week. I'm gonna be a millionaire now. You just fucking spend all your fucking money on bloody lottery tickets, on fucking uh, scratch cards, don't you? I'll, I'll have about another 20 pound scratch card. You only tell me you're poor. You're taking a piss out of me, man. You have totally taken the piss out of me. You tell me in Britain, in England, you tell me you're poor. I ain't got no money to feed my children. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Got no money to feed my children. Yeah, you spend 20, 30, 40 quid scratch cards on your national lottery and all that shit for charity. You ain't getting my fucking charity. That's for me. You waste all your fucking money on lottery tickets. You waste all your money on fucking scratch cards. And you tell me you're poor. You are taking the bloody piss. You are not poor. You're just pathetic. Okay? I think I'll finish on that.